So the Indianapolis Colts decide to select Quiddy Pay, and I find it very fascinating. You know, they needed some edge rush help, so getting a, a really good edge rusher, you're, I'm going to get into the film study and really talk about what I like about him as an edge rusher in just a second, but just talking about sort of the fit. Uh, you know, he plays that 4-3 defensive end, which I think that's what they're looking for, so just the fit there I think makes a ton of sense, and you can put him next to like a DeForest Buckner, who is a great pass rusher from the interior, uh, or you can sort of put him on either side and kind of disrupt things that way but listen the Colts clearly their mindset and the way they've liked to win football games has been from the the line get great line play and you look at Frank Reich that's how he won a Super Bowl in Philadelphia they had a great defensive line and a great offensive line he's trying to build sort of the defensive line that maybe they had in Philadelphia to some degree and I really like Quiddy Pay he was my second favorite edge rusher in this draft class so getting him as the second edge rusher in this draft class feels pretty good and at this value getting a potential star edge rusher who I've compared to Shaq Barrett uh, at times not saying he'll be as good as him or get the the numbers he gets but to me Quiddy Pay feels like a 10 sack guy and let's just jump into the film study uh or well I guess one more thing I'll just say is that you know he can be their sort of uh, Justin Houston replacement which I think is is something they need. Uh, they need someone who can get sacks on the outside, so it makes sense to me. That's what I think, and yeah, let's get into the film study. So we'll start off with this play. What's going to happen is that you see him on the screen. That's where he is, uh, and really one of the main things that I like about Pay is sort of his, uh, I feel like his hands paired with his speed because, you know, I've often been, uh, you know, basically trying to warn everybody, guys don't get too excited about a guy who just has speed because sometimes speed rushers, don't, don't, that doesn't always translate to the NFL, but for a guy like Quiddy Pay, who has the hands that he does, and he's strong as well, we'll get into that in a second, his hands are going to set up him to be able to use his speed, even at the NFL level. The key thing to watch for on this play, and I'm just going to play it out, so, uh, what's going to happen is that his right hand is really just going to slap the outside arm from, from the left tackle. You know, the left tackle, the, that left arm, his left arm, is so important. If you can just sort of knock it away, that's going to make things a lot easier, and you'll see what he's able to do. Watch how he real quick just knocks it to the side, which allows him to get to the edge, and the ball was thrown too quickly, so he wasn't able to get a sack, but that's just kind of in one of the many ways he can be successful. Like, this plays another example. This time, he's going up against the right tackle, but honestly, in a lot of ways, he reminds me a bit of, like, a Shaq Barrett type. He just has so many moves in his arsenal. He's a complete pass rusher who can, he knows what he has to do at each moment and can do so many moves well that it just, it's really, it's just a difficult thing to try and block. And so on this play, he's going to, again, it's going to be a lot of his hands that's going to come into play. This time, he's going to kind of get his right arm. And this is, it looks like it's uh, close to a rip move, but he basically just gets his right arm and it's going to get underneath the right tackle's right arm. Like, watch how, again, he's just able to sort of use his hands to get over and then use the speed to finish off and get that sack so I've always said you got to be a little bit concerned about speed rush guys but he's not just a speed rush guy he just can use his speed along with really everything else I think this next play will really do a better job at kind of talk showing what I'm talking about this is the better angle because the other ones are just kind of tough angles with you know we have to deal with broadcast footage but this one you'll be able to see what's actually happening going up against the right tackle watch what happens so right when this play starts uh you know he gets really that left arm and kind of how he has it on the tackles right peck area what pay is doing is he puts his right arm there so that way pay can get his his own right arm so pay put his left arm there so he can get his right arm and it's going to be a rip move which means he gets his right arm he puts it underneath the outside tackle so against the right tackle it's the right tackle's right arm so he's going to just get it underneath there and then try to use that as leverage so that way it's just going to be difficult for a tackle to really block you when he can't put his hands on you and the way he's going to do that is by you know getting pay's right arm underneath the tackle's right arm and watch as you see he does pull it off beautifully and he's able to run over and despite the fact that the quarterback tried to run away he was not able to get too far so uh, again that's just a lot of what i like it's his technique his technique is flawless and to me that's promising heading into the NFL level I want to bring up something like this as well where it's you know pay is going up one-on-one against the left guard this time so that's the intrigue here is he's not going up against a tackle obviously most edge rushers are known for how they can beat a tackle and obviously he can do that very well but they would occasionally have him go up against the guard not too often but it is promising to see that he can do this and what's going to be even more impressive to me is kind of just showing how even if he doesn't have a lot of space he can still use 
his really impressive footwork to, uh, you know, help him out. Watch how he kind of fakes right, gets to the left, and is barely even gets touched, despite the fact that he was going up against a guard where there was a lot less space than there would be when you go up against a tackle. So again, that kind of footwork, that'll play in the NFL. And uh, I don't know how often he's going to be going up against guards. Maybe on occasion. Maybe that's something you could have him do. But, you know, even if you never have him do it, it does go to show that he has great footwork. And, uh, you know, also if you want to sort of send a blitz or something, which means that he can't beat a complete edge guy, he can still get pressure just going up against the player straight up with less space, which is also cool to see. One final play, something like this. This is, uh, I think, just a little nugget that I found. It's nothing that's going to make you say, oh, wow, what a great play. This will, you know, be very impactful at the NFL level. None of that. This is simply just showing his physicality. It's showing if you want a guy who is violent, well, he can be violent. He can get violent. There's no doubt about it. On this play, it's going to be a tight end who's going to pull over and block pay. You don't expect this to go too well for Penn State, having their tight end block pay, uh, just simply because, uh, you know, it, it's it's Pay. He, he's really good. But And also, you know, tight end against the edge rusher, that's a mismatch. But the reality is it's going to be a run to the bottom of the screen. The chances of Quiddy Pay getting into this play are next to zero, so you're not really expecting him to get into the play. It's more just you don't want to leave him completely unblocked. But watch how when a tight end goes around, Pay just lays him out right there. Uh, that's just a big blow. So, yeah, I mean, that play didn't matter. It wasn't going to matter. But in a situation where a play like that could matter, it shows that, hey, he's a physical player. And there's just so much well. Again, the the, tight, the technique is perfect. He honestly, again, I made the Shaq Barrett, Jack Barrett comparison, but he couldn't be a more athletic version of Shaq Barrett, which is just kind of crazy to think about, but that's his ceiling, absolutely. I'm a big fan of Quiddy Pay. I do think that he's a really good player, and I wouldn't be shocked at all to see him become, uh, you know, an easy double-digit sack kind of guy, which are tough to find. That's one of the most difficult things to find in sports, is a guy who can rush the passer with consistency. I think he could easily end up being one of those guys. That's what I think, though. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on Quiddy Pay? Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>